What's up guys, it's Flash right here, welcoming you back to Football Manager 2014 as the team of Kidderminster Harriers. Now, in in December we had pretty much of a rocky month. Got dumped out of the FA Cup by Mansfield, 3-1. to one. And we've had a couple of shady results. Uh, the working one, we went out to 10 men early on, so it was only a matter of time. We've had two, uh, we had... Two draws, and then Grimsby and Luton, even though we threw both of them away from having leads. Um, and we had a win against Hereford in our local derby at home. So, it was a rocky season. We got uh, It's a rocky month. And we're currently sitting in third. Uh, currently 11 points behind the two leaders at the moment. However, they are proving to be the, the best two teams in the league right now. Mainly because of their low goal concedes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But we're entering January now, and the transfer window is about to reopen. Uh, I have got people in mind I want to lose. In terms of um, clearing out some of the reserves. And I've also got things in mind in terms of... Who do I want to keep? Because we we do need to start thinking about transfers as well. Well, not transfers, con new contracts as well. Uh, that expires at the end of the season. Ryan Rohn comes back at the end of January, so we will have an we have we will have a better backup striker just in case Melbourne or Gash get injured. But we do have a couple things that we need to. We do have a couple people that we are getting rid of. Uh, the first of which, Nathan Vaughan is leaving on the 1st of January to go to Aberdeen. So we will be saying goodbye to Nathan Vaughan, even though he didn't get a game at all. Uh, in the place, when we get our um, Irish goalkeeper back, he will be taking his spot on the bench. I think he will grow better. Not really as a bench warmer, but just in general. Uh, I've, I think I'm going to be splitting into January into two... Videos. You got the one for the transfers and a couple of games, and the rest is going to be just the rest of the games in January. Just so I can prepare my squad for the remaining part of the season. Now, the main problem that we have right now is the lack of a backup left winger. Because we do have Johnson, but to be honest, we don't want to keep putting him on and then we don't have a winger to uh, replace him just in case he gets injured himself. So we need to look in the market for a left winger, and the be easiest way to do this is by looking at Callum Gittins. This is a natural position. It's kind of the position that we really want to be playing in. Um, so we're going to just find, hang on, find some of the players. Now what this does, it, it actually brings up all the stats for Callum Gittins' best role, which will be inside forward, and it will look at all the stats required for that role, and it will look at better ones. Now, in our case, it's just like, yeah, you want to get better than that? Yeah, here's the best players in the game. Not something I really want. So, there's only four attributes, which is just crossing, determination, teamwork, and work, right? Now, if we change this to match less, we can find a lot more players for that price. So, we are going to just switch that down, we'll bring it to young players, and see if there's anybody we can nab. On a free transfer. Didn't look like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guy without a club right there. He's 32 years old. Wow. That, that's just... just. Yeah, you probably won't join. No. May, amazing offer. <laughs> I could try, but no. And So the best thing to do right here is actually just to minimise these things down a bit. So, I'm prepared to just put in as 10 everything. Apart from teamwork and work rate, we need to keep those fairly high. And there we go. Now we're starting to get a bit, bit of better players. Unfortunately, not a lot of these will be good. They're just good in, that, in these stats. So we need to have a look for those kinds of players. Any... Hmm... He's got good potential. Leading. Hmm. Interesting. 
And he, he, will, he will come cheaply as well. He will come cheaply. Whoa, okay, whoa. That's a bit much. <laughs> he must have changed his mind. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty much we are looking for decent attacking with lefts. Because I don't really want to be spending too much of the wage budget on it. I would like to have some money. Hang on. Sorry about that guys, just phone went and all that crap. So, I could potentially get a loanee, but it mm, it's it's their own mental agenda here. That's probably what we're going to need. And we're going to need someone really without on a contract really, so that we can actually tell them off when we need to. Uh, I'm going to uh, put down teamwork at that, but okay, I think we'll be fine now. Now, why am I looking up him again? <laughs> Uh, let's change that so we can actually get all the free agents. So here we are. Uh, any other young ones? I'm already scouting this guy. 29, 23. Nice. But uh, he's not that great. Yeah, it's, it's just finding the players that you need, really. And, yeah, it's... It, most of them, especially in this kind of position, I just no. <laughs> uh, put crossing down to ten. Yeah, when you usually anybody above like ten crossing is considered like massively great. Ooh. No, <laughs> God no. <laughs> it's the trouble when. Finding technically young players, they're, they're generally not that great. You, know, you have to try and look for like guys like these, but then they want like so much that 950 to 16 k He's already already is like better than Gittins, but so if I approach to sign him, he wants like 850 pound a week, and that's not something I really want to be giving out. Uh, let's put work rate down. Put that down. Right. Uh, the, hang on, there's something that I'm missing here. Let's make that 4 or 4. That way I'm getting every, everything I need. Alright, uh, so let's. Uh, cannot afford to scout. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, and he wants like 1.1k a week. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> but anyway. So the things we're gonna be looking for is a, a suitable replacement for. Um, well, not replacement. But suitable backup, just in case Gittins get injured. He has been injured once, uh, a couple of times already this season, and it's not exactly something I want to risk. We're also going to be looking for a new centre mid. Uh, mainly, be actually, do I really want to get a centre mid? No, the the person that I want to get a centre mid and then a r left slash right back. Mainly because we don't really have anything to go into that position. Yeah. That will probably be the best, but... Just... Mainly just a wing back. Any... In right or left. Or... Um, uh, one of the... Uh, attacking mid-rights. And we could do with a striker as well. So we've got quite a few things to get. And I'll see you guys... Um, when, so once I've sorted out all my scouting targets. And all my targets that I'm going to be going for. Okay, so here we are at the Hereford game. In terms of um, transfer targets, I have had a look at the um, players in in the positions where I want to be finding replacements, and I have found. Well, I've sent scouts out to scout a fair number of players in those positions. So we should be getting those within the next couple of days. In the meantime, though, we have a match against Hereford to win. So. For that, it is away. We won one nil last time we were out. 
and Hereford are actually even more injured than before, really. So, yeah, we need to be looking at winning this game. I'm going to be leaving Mr. Bliss on the bench. We do have no goalkeeper until our current one that's on loan comes back, which I think is another month. Just need to have a look, see? How long are you... Just having a check of the stats. He has gone up in a bit. Very nice. Uh, expires, yeah, end of this month. So, yeah, we will be doing that. As for team and, and that, we need to have a look at things that we need to get rid of. We are going to be... Uh, Devaney is still injured, so I can't do any selling of my players yet, which is something I'm going to be doing after this game. We're going to swap Mickey for Mr. Jackman. And Jackman will take the place of the S1 position. Uh, until the end of the month, I pray to God that freaking Lewis does not get recorded or injured. Otherwise, that would be worrisome. At the very minimum. So, Carl Storr is going to be replacing Forbes here. Because we, we do have a game coming right after this one, which is against Dartford, I believe. So we we need to keep some people in somewhat fitness. So we're going to take Dunkley out. We're going to place him in his usual position right next to Vaughan. And that'll do for that. Um, and in terms of that, that's about it. So then, having a look at the squad, they do have Rankine on the um, pitch, who is their best player. But they have done a bit of um, shifting. So they need to win to move out of the relegation zone, but we need to win to keep the fight between these four teams. Between us, Stafford, Braintree and Lincoln. We're all fighting for that third position. Not something I really want to be keeping doing, though. We're going to be time-marking Mr... No, no, we're not. No, we are not. We are going to be tight marking Rankine here, shoving his weaker foot, and Dan Walker is going to be tight marked as well. As for everything else, they they are using somewhat of a defensive setup. So with our offensive formation, it's going to be quite a balanced game. Uh, we are the favourites here, so I'm going to give a passionate team to. Yes. That did wonders, but I'm also going to give the faith talk to the midfielders, and again for the strikers. There we go. Looks like we're starting off first, and are we going to get... Nope. Doesn't look like we're going to get an instant impact. But we do get a shot off, but it's on target. So... Hereford, they aren't doing too hot this season, and they aren't doing too hot in real life as well. They've actually switched managers in this game. So good old Martin Foyle has left. So it all depends on us actually getting somewhere. It looks like they got a free kick here. Falls to James Dance. We could break here. We got Gash, who's managed to get away here. We got Gash on the ball, and he just shoots it past the keeper straight into the far post. Very great counter attack there by Kitty, and we are going to hit up the defence because, yep, they're going to be pushing now. Michael Gash getting the goal since his comeback from injury. Oh, it looks like Gowling's injured. Not good. That will hinder his speed in somewhat. Got Hudson on the ball, he's clearly unmarked, he hasn't been closed down, got to be careful story, don't want to get booked here, and since he already is, and Rankine's scores weren't really marked there, I might have to sub off Gowling to bring on Dunkley, because he might be injured, and that's not something I really want to be do. No, really don't want to have really, because I already gave away our other somewhat defender, and both of our defence backs have, you know, got, both of our, um, well not both, but both have a problem, but one of them being injured and the other one being yellow carded. That's not great. That's not great to have. One's going to be slow, one's going to be 
wary of some of getting booked. Rankine is definitely looking for that pass, and yes, that's exactly what happens. Uh, Hudson scores. We were waiting too long. Rankine wasn't being targeted for tackling, and yeah, that's what happened. He, Nazala didn't really want to tackle him because he was already booked. And it's another yellow card for Kitty. Seriously, with the yellow cards, do we really have to keep getting booked? We need to tell the team like it is, and we are. Show a bit of desire. There we go. Lovely team talk. We are going to be subbing Gash now, so we can keep him on for later. Well, for the next game. We're just going to bring in Joe Lolly into that one. And Galling is still injured, but I'm still going to take him off now, actually. Just to restrain the injury. There we go. They do. They, it looks like they have been taking the chances, but we haven't. I am making a double sub now, which is kind of a bit risky. But it, it's. It, I want to try and make it justified. Oh, it looks like Rankine's going to score. For some reason he hasn't been freaking marked. I put tight marking in, and yet they don't tight mark. The logic. No, even though, even though I'm being told to mark him, even though it's already there. Except they have been, um, I need to switch playstyles here, because it looks like they are actually doing, looks like they're actually playing well to our defensive mentality. We're going to be subbing off Jack Burney and replace for Lee Fowler. He's going to be playing the attacking advanced playmaker role. We do have a lot of people, oh great, I just make the sub, and, oh wait, no, no I haven't, no I haven't. Good, 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 good. Dance is injured. And bring on Johnson. Go out there and make a difference. Many of our defensive players have been booked, so likelihood a red card? Very. And I can't take anyone off right now. Because I've used all my subs already. Just to stop injury. <laughs> God, we need to calm down with these red yellow cards. You're getting a lot of suspensions, so just crappy yellow cards. Got Leopard to the th throw in. Mickey takes that. Got Fowler to Malbon. Malbon finds Dimitri on the on the near side. Oh, and he catches him. What's it gonna be? He's giving a warning. So it looks like this uh, free kick will be in the highlights. Got Gittings with the free kick, and it's Johnson, and he hits the post. He's off the bar. Damn it. God damn it. Off the bar from Murph and Johnson. Even though he's not the best header in the um, squad. Got Mickey's on the ball, passes it to Gittings. Gittings tries the shot, and Higgs. Oh, wow. Looks like that goalkeeper's having a really good game. Really, really good game. And it looks like they're going to win this game. It's just... Ugh, god damn. These games we should be winning. Should be winning these kinds of matches, but yet we don't. Not good enough. Strikers look uncomposed. They just look nervous and everything. And Lincoln's just won their game against Grimsby. And I think everybody else lost him. No, I don't think... No, Lincoln's already... We've got two games on hand, in hand on Lincoln, so we should be fine with them. Um, and Forest Green... Oh, Luton drew with Barnet, so they dropped points. So Forest Green's took the lead on that from beating Aldershot. In terms of other teams, yeah, we've caught up with them on games on hand. Braintree have two games on hand on us, and they have four games on hand on Lincoln, so they could potentially... Um, 28 points would be 12. They could potentially go 55 points. So that'll be third. Not far behind Barnet if they win everything, but that that's if. That's if. But right now, we need to be winning our away games. We are looking ever so wobbly on them. Anyway, let's have a look at our, um... Hmm? A solid display... Send a sister and we care about that crap. Mm. 
Mm. Wrexham boss is looking at Jay- uh, Callum Gittins. Oh, I don't think so. And James Dance is up for two to three weeks. I was getting rid of him, and now it looks like he has to be staying here. And Lee Vaughan was once again one yellow card away from being... <sighs> ben, and then I have to play Mickey once again on the right. And he's not that great on the right. But coming up, we've got one of our most important games of the season, right as of yet. This is against Dartford in fourth. We have a couple of scouting reports coming through. Yeah, do you anyway, I'll see you guys at the um, Darth again. Unless if we sign someone that's actually pretty decent. Right, so here we are at the Dartford game. We um, over the course of the cut. Uh, Gary Mills took charge of Wrexham. Very nice. We've also made contract offer to Mr. Kieran Cole, who is our left back. So he has decent potential to be in the in League Two, so which is also very nice. He's also we can get him on cheap, which is probably the best thing we can do really, finding a youngster that wants to that can play league football for cheap. And he's got de- he's got better much better speed than Mickey. Um the only other thing is just he's not very good defensively, mentally and aerially, but that will come with um training and all that. So that will be worked on. Another player that I'm looking for is also um, Seth Nana Twansi. He has he has great potential, and he also has great physical and mental stats. He can also be a decent league one, which is better than anything I've got. Uh, trouble is though, he is wanting a lot in terms of wages. He is quite a, he, by looking at him, he's quite a decent player. He can also play on the left back as well, should he need to be there. So, yes, favourite personnel, John Still. So it looks like he was playing for Luton at some point. Or wants to play at Luton. So, yeah, that could be pretty troublesome if I go for him and then Luton try and nick him from me. So, either way, I'm going to be having to think about it. Um, depending on how other things come through, because I do have some pretty decent prospects being scouted, then I might be going for him just in case if anything doesn't go right and I have a quite a lot left over in the wage budget. But, uh, third round, uh, Mansfield are playing Bolton. What could have been? What could have been? But here we are playing Dartford. They're expecting them to play a 4 5 1. Now, the last time we faced Dartford was a 3 2 win, I think. It was all the way up here. 3 2 1. A 3 2 win. I think we went down to 10 men. I'm not sure. Give me a sec on this one. Where are you? There you are. Having a look at the um, overview. No. No, uh, just Nathan Blisser and then an anti Marble squad. So Gash was injured at the time. So having a look at the team selection, we have decided to go with a bit of attacking personality in this game. So, well, in this game. So that we can actually do some damage. So we're going to be posting Dunkley and... Gowling there in the usual spots. We're also going to be putting in Jackman in the left back. Mickey is tired. As for whoever goes in the right back, I'm going to have to play Vaughan there. I might sub um, Mickey on later just so he can keep them both fit. In terms of winger, we do need to put on someone. Might as well just put on Joe Lolly. Why not? Yeah, both of our wingers are injured. They're probably going to be coming back at around about the same time. Even though I'm getting rid of James Dance sometime soon. I have them um, loan. I have offered to clubs Tolly and Grimes. So, they, uh, I'm going to be looking for them to leave at some point. Just to free up the wage budget a little bit more. But either way, we're still playing without a goalkeeper. So, please, Danny, do not get injured. Uh, before I do that, I need to have a look at the team, just in case if I didn't set them right. 
Uh, Hamilton Forbes playing as a box-to-box. -box. He's already four and a half stars already. He's almost at his full potential in the box-to-box -box midfielder role, so we have been doing well at getting him there. Um, I'm going to make a different call. I'm actually going to place him as a central defender. Let's see what happens when we do that. If it goes wrong, we'll just change that. Fortunately, Gittings will have to play in that for all the game. And this is a game that we need to win in order to... Um, stay among the playoff places because uh, uh, yeah win against Darth would take us three points clear at them I don't think Lincoln are playing no they're not they're playing their um no they're not <laughs> no they're not at all uh, in terms of Braintree they are facing Welling away so they could potentially lose that game so it's it's something for us to be wor worried about they are playing a major midfield role with a lone striker so we will be literally just marking them out the game as for the two wingers, we're just going to be closing them down, as per usual, and the usual Lewis Smith, we're going to be closing him down. I think the only reason why we um, lost the Hereford game is because I think I should have closed Rankine down, because he was quite fit at the time, but not the here. I'm expecting a much better performance today, everybody likes that, I'm going to get the UFA to the midfielders, very good. So, playing against Dartford, this is something that we need to win, and we need to win well. Hopefully Dartford are a little bit... Oh, Gash is injured immediately. Great. So we need to bring on the big man, Blissett, right away. Not really that great, because now Gash is going to be injured again. So we're going to be playing... Um... With Blissit again, and unless if I get myself a new target man, which spoilers I am looking at getting, not because of um, Blissit being bad, it's just well we scored, but the thing is Blissit's potential isn't could be a lot better than it should, and it isn't in this game. So his only potential is this league, which is unfortunate. We don't want to be having him there when he's going to be asking for more wages the, s the more he plays with this club. And it looks like, oh, Marwan misses a sitter. Ouch. So we're 1-0 up. I'm going to be switching on the defense because they're, they're going to be like, oh, God, we need a, we need a push. And we they haven't even got a shot on goal yet. I might switch to control, actually. I am, actually. I'm going to switch to control. We are literally controlling this game. Something that we need to be looking at. And, oh, for God's sake, one of our players is the first to get a yellow card. And it looks like we're going to get a second. Yep. Yeah, I mean, come on. And now Gittings is injured, and I don't freaking have a replacement for him. <laughs> Why do they have to injure our players? Uh, at least Gash is look looking like he's recovering. Before I do so, I am going to have a look at the... It looks like he's going to make it through without injury. Um, having a look at Gittings, though, usually it will tell you if it's got suspected injuries. No, it looks like they're going to be fine. It's just knocking them out of the game, really. Uh, that means my plan. What am I going to do? Um, 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 uh. I'm gonna have to change this really. Familiar familiarity with a four three three isn't really great. Great, <laughs> great indeed. Um, and we want to play Johnson's free roll, but you can't really do that in this game. Uh, yeah. Oh frick! I forgot to change the inside forward. The oh well. Uh, bring on Jackburn now. We could play Storers a bit in defence. And uh, Burn's going to be the attacking. Familiarity. I won't be able to sub any of my midfielders, unfortunately. So that's going to have to stay that way. And Johnson's going to remain there. So so the, um, the left wing is looking a bit vulnerable, but we're going to have to be forcing to take that chance. Everything would get out there and make a difference. Get out there and make a difference, Burn. We've already had bids come in for a burn. 
from Plymouth, but looking at their league position, they're not really doing too good in the league. It looks like they were just looking at him as an emergency signing. It looks like here's Darfit's first chance of the game, and it looks like it's going to go in, but it isn't. Thank God. Considering we are now switching formation, I am switching back to defence. Because <laughs> I think they're going to start coming back into this game, and that's not something I'm going to be doing. Surely the second half can get better. Yes, surely. Um, yeah. Got to guard again. Complacency. Don't don't think the job is done. And do that. There we go. That is better. So they're kicking off. We're playing with a slightly iffy formation. They're going to be looking to attack on the right on our on their right all game, and it's going to be just just hold on, <laughs> just hold on there. Uh, having a look at the tactics, I'm I'm gonna for sake of keeping defense there, I'm gonna be keeping Jackman as a limited fullback, so he stays back. I don't want him closing down those on the right. That should be Stora's job. Speaking of which, we've already made two substitutions already, so yeah, making another one right now is kind of stupid. We've got Hamilton Forbes on the ball, he gives it to Vaughan. Vaughan to Hamilton Forbes, to Stora, to Jackman. Looks like he's going to be looking to get to Melbourne, but his pass gets cut out, so it looks like they can break here. And got P uh, Birchall, Conroy, looks like they might try to through ball. Careful, Stora, and Stora is going off again. Oh, come on! Oh, so it's third card, third red card of the season, Stora. Seriously, again? Literally, my practice said you didn't get a red card at all, and you're just getting on recording. Freaking recording curse, all that crap. Um, Johnson cannot play in the centre. <laughs> I could have actually. Oh wow, I could have actually played him in the. Oh, God damn it. Um, play him in left mid. I'm going to play him in left mid. It's not really the best thing to do, but it's the only thing I have got. And we play Marwan in the centre mid. No, 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 no. We're going to be players. For familiarity's sake, we need to keep them up. Alternate tactics. We're going to be switching tactics here. <laughs> That's the familiar tactic. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, just switch them back. Uh Tequatista, why not? Advanced forward. No, Tequatista. We're gonna be playing Bernard actually a shadow striker actually. Uh I can't bring him back, so he has to stay there. And Johnson's gonna be playing as <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is my all purpose strategy. Um yeah, we're gonna be switching both of our wing backs to full backs. So we can try and grind a result here. And plays Johnson in the support. Just freaking, just do something. <laughs> just do something, Johnson. I don't care. Just do something. Just do something. And th wow, really? I did not want Forbes. Frick off. There. Just do something. <laughs> Actually, better idea. Much better idea. We're gonna be. Putting Johnson up there. We're going to be switching Byrne and Johnson. Uh, John, John, blah, blah, blah. Melbourne and Byrne around. We're going to be playing a uh, deep flying playmaker with defend. And um, Melbourne's going to be playing as a Tequitista as an attack. Actually, no, yes, because he can't play anything else. And we're going to be bringing on Joe Lolly. Genius! There we go. Keeping people green. That means Vaughan's going to have to stay out. Damn. So as long as they don't attack down the right. I'm fine. <sighs> That's what we're going to be playing on. <laughs> that is how we're going to be playing this game. Just, just, uh, it's a good thing I actually put on a couple other formations just to be on the safe side. So the alternate tactics will work. Uh, standard? Hell no. Defensive. <laughs> we need to play defensive here. Don't really like playing Marwan as a cat, but it's it, it's required for this this kind of push. 
Lolly passes it to Burn, back to Lolly. Oh, and they could be getting a sending off as well. And he's off. That's a lifeline. That is a lifeline to keep this 1-0. That is a major lifeline. We have been controlling this game, and I don't really want to be losing it now because of their one shot on target. The <laughs> first shot on target goal. Ooh. And uh, Lolly is in pain, and on comes the kid of video. Oh, for God's sake. People are getting injured left, right, and center now when I'm getting rid of players. <sighs> Got Julian. Blissett heads it away. Thank you, Blissett. Got Fry. He's going to be holding the ball. Ragbrook. Pryor. Come on, whistle. Go. Go. And there we go. A 1 0 victory. Well deserved. There we go. Um, I'm just going to say good win, even though you're saying I punished them for, for getting a bad result. No, we were 10 men for more than Dartford, so we needed to um, switch the formations around, and yeah, that happened. Anyway, don't click on Man of the Match. We move up to third. Let's see. Barnet and Forest Green won, so they are staying. For, so for Forest Green, they're staying 14 click points clear. Than us, uh, looking like we can't catch them, but mm, it's still January, it's still time for Forest Green to completely screw up, which is what I'm hoping on. Braintree lost, and yeah, we still got the game in on Lincoln, on Lincoln. So all in all, that match went perfectly. So that was quite good in certain stents. Uh, I need to have a look at one thing though. I have been interested in looking at one of um, Forest Green players, and no, it is none of these that are currently on list. It is the one on Lonely right now, Magno Vera. I have been looking at him for quite some time since the game started. Really, he's got quite quite good um, technical ability. He can also play on the right and in the striker role. He he's good at this league and this league alone. But he wants oh wow. Uh, screw that. <laughs> he wants he wants 2.1k? Oh, hell no. I'm not made of money. But anyway. Uh, Jada Lolly is injured for 8 to 10 days. And Stora is banned for 3 matches. This time, I'm actually going to fine him. Fine was unfair. No, I'm the boss. You've been sent off 3 times this season. All within the pace of 2 months. So, no. No. It's the point that some of the players' mentality when they get fined is just like, <gasps> I'm not getting paid. I'm gonna kick off about it. No, if you if you if you being sent off for unsportsmanlike behaviour and just going around fouling people, then yes, you deserve it. You deserve a punishment. I've given you two warnings, Stora. <laughs> not, not anymore. Things go haywire, and also the other one's been suspended for. Uh, freaking getting too many other cards. I think it's two games now. Yes, two games. So Mickey will be playing there, and also Jackman will be playing as left back. Very nice. I'm actually losing more players than they should. At least, so I do have some rotations for that. So they get f fit. Okay, so it feels was unfair. Like, screw off with that. And, hmm. Wow. Doesn't think he'll go very far. And neither will he. What? Wow, doesn't think that this guy goes very far. Or each other cards limit, please, with Dunkley's progress. Dunkley's actually getting pretty decent on progress. He's act uh, well, apart from the, um, those going down. His defensive stats are on the rise. His reports probably say he's already leading player for most Skybet League 2. And also people are looking at him as well. Um, speaking of which, Silver Rovers want him at the end of the contract. So, yeah. Not looking too good. Danny Jetman's also wanted. He's wanted by Gillingham. Wow, Gillingham won him back. <laughs> wow, Gillingham want the player, but want Danny Jetman back. Yeah, he did play for them. Quite a lot. He also got the um, didn't even play of the year a few seasons back. Well, that sucks. We're also playing our threatened again sometime soon. 
Let's just hope it doesn't go like real life. What happened yesterday? Real game time. Real life time. Ooh, four. Four? Uh, right, so... Limited North. Uh, I cancelled that. I cancelled that. Three offers for Jamie Tolley. Um, uh, I'm going to accept these two. Not the first team's plans. Mainly because it's straight up cash, and I kind of need straight up cash. And for I Ecclestone, no. No, it's not good enough. Hang on, wait, stop. And also, transfer from Ginnenham. Oh, <laughs> no! Uh, I'm... He, Danny Jumpman is getting on. I'm thinking about it more, since... You, with older players, you want to be, say, you want to get straight up cash. Mainly because he, if, if you try and go for like, oh, we'll give you money for next sale, it will be a couple of years down the line and no one will want him because he's got no, sp especially for his position as um, left back. They're only wanting for a position as sent to mid. And that's not good enough, really. Already accepted them. Ooh! Get him on cheap, too. I have been looking at him for a target man. A target man. For a better target man than him, Mr. Blissett. And he is better. And he can also get up to the same potential as as Gash. And, well, actually, no, more potential than Gash. On the same potential as Malbon, really. And I can actually get him. So I'm actually going to make a contract offer for him. Because why not? Why not? Um, 300. I'll lower that a bit. 250. We're going to give a small loyalty bonus as well. Future budget cuts. 60. And uh, promotional wage rise to 30%. Uh, lower this by 2 by um, two to 100. Uh, goal bonus, uh, lower it to 80. Uh, unused substitute, no. Um, 20 games? <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to say goals. Usually when they say, oh, we, after a certain amount of games, give me this, give me this. Generally, I try to say goals. Because it's goals. You're actually putting in work. Landmark goal bonus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not 2.6k. 2.6k. No. Um, 1k. At most. Uh, 15 goals, yes. Does he want it? Mmm... Oh, for God's sake. Uh, career League games. Let's increase that to 30. Um, heighten the loyalty bonus to 85. Reduce that by 1. Yes. Good. Good, good. And we've also got this guy. This this uh, Italian forward. He's uh, more known for an advanced forward. He's only got a 3 star potential, though. Three star potential, and he wants quite a bit, so not someone I would go for, unfortunately. If I came just into this league, if I literally just came from like the lower leagues into that, then yes, that would be a possibility, but not really. But let's have a look at the fixtures. Let's see how see how many um games we got more for this month. Four. Right, so I think I'm going to leave this off here, actually. Because I said I was going to bring this down to um, others. So, yeah. So in the next part, we're going to be continuing on to the rest of January. For the rest of January, we're going to be looking at more transfers. And we're going to be possibly just pushing on. Because we we gotten a, we gotten a lucky win there against Dartford. We're playing Olsen next. We've got four more games of this month that have to go. And, we're, and we've probably gone through the majority of it. The main, the other things I'm going to be going through are just going to be like just making transfers off camera. Only when, I, only when they've been confirmed, I'll show. So I'll see you guys then for the rest of January.